Hi guys, the FM Gaffer here. Welcome to episode 27 of the Road to the World Cup series with Fiji. Um, so yeah, we've got the two games um, against Papua New Guinea and really should have looked at this, but anyway, I'll ask you today. Um, so yeah, after two very hard fought wins and yeah, they were both very close wins last time out. We're looking really good uh, to get through to the Earth Nations Cup semi-finals. Hopefully, we'll get we'll get um, first in our group, so we'll avoid playing New Zealand because New Zealand have won five nil and seven nil in their opening two games. It looks like they're going to win their group. So yeah, we'd much rather face the second place team in this group. Um, New Caledonia it doesn't. Look, I don't think they're going to get through. I think they've lost something in the last few years. Obviously, that their league is loaded. I, I, yeah, it's definitely loaded. So I don't know why they're not producing more players. I mean, we just go through like, yeah, there's there's quite a few players that are all New Caledonian and they're just not in the squad, which I find really baffling. Um, but yeah, I, I've just realised not that a lot of the New Caledonian teams are semi-professional. We can't become semi-professional. It's so annoying. I just, you can't ask for semi-professionalness. I really wish I could. I've been asking for professional, pro being professional, um, quite a lot, and yeah, it's just it's just not happening. Basically, I'm just, I probably have to wait until they like do it themselves. And hopefully, then it can become something professional. But yeah, as we're talking about bar, let's go through what's been happening in the first part of the season. So the Champions versus Champions is back from its one year break. We lost on penalties. <laughs> Eleven ten. Everyone scored, but the eleventh penalty taker in Larima Bula. I don't know why he's taking 11th, he's a striker, but yeah, he, he missed. It was his fault. And that is why we lost to Labasta. They scored all 11 of their penalties. Both keepers scored, interestingly. But since then, in the league, we have started very, very well. No losses and only the two draws. So yeah, we drew four all in the draw. That was a great game. Um, and then, yeah, just two all very well. But yeah, we've beaten everyone else, got a few clean sheets along the way. Um, it's been really good. We've got the early coming up. Moala, who are Samoan, yeah. Um, and then yeah, Waybop who are New Zealand and Air Dragon who are Tahitian. They're both very difficult sides and yeah, we might actually not go through to the semi-final. Um, but obviously we'll try our best and yeah, that's what's coming up next for Bar. But back to the national team, we have Papua New Guinea. This is going to be the starting team. Alfred Toro Smith as always in goal. Alfred Tabor at right back, Robin Hasser at left back, Wasia Tabua and uh, Savannah Kar Nazara um, partner partnering each other. In centre of defence, Wiseki Diet playing. Um, no, they should be the other way around, shouldn't they? Yeah, sorry. For now, I have trained Wiseki Diet DM, and he is now he's now green there. I think he was orange or whatever before. Um, so yeah, Wiseki Diet is going to start at centre mid, but yeah, Poisiana for now back in defensive mid. Manasa Makai at right back, Lawrence Singh at left back, Intes Rao in the middle behind Roy Krishna up front. That's going to be the bench. Apasai Smith, interestingly, I brought him back into the squad. Yeah, I've released him with Bar, but he, he's 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 okay right now. And uh, yeah, I'm seeing how he does with the national team. He's moved around a lot. Nadi Suba, Nagwa, as you see. Um, but yeah, hopefully he's gonna become a backup player in the national team. Anyway, it could happen. But yeah, we'll we'll, we'll see how it goes. Another player that we brought in, Andrew Drewer. Um, he's not that great either, but yeah, he'll do. I I I've, to be honest, I think this guy was just uh, what the assistant picked. Um, and I just didn't change it. But yeah, he, he's fine. He's no drugger player. Um, yeah, I'm probably not going to bring him on, so it doesn't really matter. So yeah, this is going to be the team submitting it. Um, and yeah, we've got Papua New Guinea. So yeah, a win would make it three games out of three, nine points out of nine, and we're really aiming to get us, well, 18 points out of 18 for the whole um, like competition. But yeah, obviously, this might not happen with you know Tuvalu being so OP as they are. But yeah, we've, we've started quite consistently. And I, I kind of like that we only won it by like one goal. Because that like suggests that we're not we're not gonna like have one game amazing one game the next. That's not. But with Seki Dyer's just giving us the lead from a corner and yeah, it's a fantastic start. Eleven minutes in, corner swung in. I think it was like headed down by um I don't know who it was, but yeah, we'll see here. Krishna the ball for now. Okay, for now shot hit someone, and then it fell for Dyer who who's um yeah who just tapped it in the front post. Ooh, I thought a defensive mistake was coming there, but it's Tora Smith now. In possession, uh, he plays it forward. Krishna is on to that, and he's got to score that. Yes, he does. Roy Krishna, two minutes later, and we're 2 up on Papua New Guinea. This is a fantastic start to the match. Um, yeah, just ball lumped forward by Tora Smith, and yeah, Krishna just sort of going around the keeper. Um, and yeah, getting the goal. 
but a highlight from kickoff does not look promising as Papua New Guinea come forward. Here's Kazam. Kenny. Kazam. Tabwa clears that. Krishna's in again. Oh, it could go around the keeper again. Krishna. Ah, oh, the, the um, defenders came across and blocked the effort. Roblin Haston's corner cleared by Wangu. Great name that. Um, yeah, 20 minutes in, 2 0 up. Fantastic start of the match. Couldn't ask for uh, a lot better. Inter Sarau looks like he's just picked up a knock. Um, I'll leave him on until half time at the very least. As Chris Wangu then gets a yellow card. First one of the match. And yeah, not a lot's happening in the back end of the second half. And it looks like he's going to dribble through to half time. Although, this is a highlight. Roblin Hassan wins a header. Lawrence Singh now. Penny for now. Uh, not Penny for now. Poisiano for now. Inter Sarau. Have a Tabor for now. Tabor. Manasseh Mackay. Tabor for now. I forget that like all of my players are 19 or 20. They, they all seem so experienced that now that I've been playing with them for like three or four years. But I sub uh, plays that in Kazao, hits the post. Very late chance in this half for Papua New Guinea, but it goes into the half time break as 2 0 to us. Um, yeah, everyone looks extremely delighted, uh, which is always good. And we'll start the second half. Um, so, yeah, we've done well. And like I said, my team talk, Nazara gets that away. Manas Makai can't chase that down so yeah make a change quite quick okay we'll see what this happens here Tora Smith Krishna heads that down for now Dyer that's a poor pass Krishna's gonna win that back Krishna play it all right play it all right so decent ball but Manasa Makai don't know what he was trying to do there but yeah it comes through to Japu in the Papua New Guinea goal his clearance head down one for now can we mount another chance here is Dyer to sing on the left Dyer. Is, is that Lawrence Singh or is it Gurjeet Singh? No, it is Lawrence Singh. Here is Lawrence Singh again. And he was a nice ball for Krishna, who gets his second in the match. How many international goals has he got now? That's his 49th. I was, yeah, I, was, I wanted him to get 50 um, before the end of his career. And yeah, it looks like he's, well, and barring a miracle, I don't. I think he will get there. Fantastic acrobatic finish there from Krishna. How many games has he done it in? See, that's, that's 49 goals in 69 games. So yeah, that's m better than uh, a goal every other game. Quite a lot better as well. As Krishna comes forward and tries to get his 50th with a hat trick here, but nah, it, um, it is um, easily saved. And yeah, I'm just going to bring off Intas Rao because he's quite low on fitness. Dope Delay can um, replace it. Uh, so yeah, I remember when yeah Rao and Delay were like the only two that I was like really optimistic about, and then I just like looked at the rest of my squad and realised everyone has so much potential. Um, or and if they didn't, I well a lot of people did, and the other ones I just you know released as um yeah we go a goal we concede a goal here Kassam just about reaching that and sweating it across to Mersak a uh, bit disappointing to not get the clean sheet but yeah that's fine as it looks it looks like we're going to come forward and try and get a fourth Chorus Brown fouls did I um oh it's a red okay well I just I thought it was a normal foul but yeah Papua New Guinea down to 10 men um I'm just going to ring the changes just to rest a few players Rakesh Tiwa can come on Oh, yeah, one, okay, I, I will mention it after the game. Um, Rakesh Tiwa has scored so many goals for Bar, like genuinely so many. Um, I'm going to bring Roy Krishna off, so yeah, the three substitutions that I'll make. Um, still in this highlight here, because the only for now delay. Oh, I hope Krishna gets a goal here, because then he can just complete his hatching and then go off. There he is. Knew it. Predicted it. Roy Krishna completes his hatching and gets his 50th international goal for Fiji. He's scored more goals for Fiji in this save than um, any England player ever has. So, <laughs> fantastic from Krishna. Roblin Hassa, Wiseki Daya can't get that through as Mazak comes forward. Mazak actually probably in this save, Wayne Rooney's probably scored over 50 goals for, the, uh, for England now, but hey ho. Uh, as Jope Delay comes forward, plays it to Daya. Daya, Bula! Larima Bula, first time shot, 5-1. We are running away with this game. New Zealand beat us all on lines 3-0. That's quite 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 a bad score for them, to be honest. Um, but yeah, great great finish from Larry Mabula there. Um, yeah, he reminds us what he can do as Dyer comes forward again. Could be a sixth here. Bula, he hasn't got a lot of support, but he didn't need it. Firing over the bar on that occasion. So yeah, what's happening in the other games? New Caledonia have just taken the lead against Tahiti. 89th minute and Tuvalu just taking the lead against Vanuatu so it looks like Tuvalu are going to come through with us oh, that's gonna be... ah, I hate Tuvalu <laughs> um, I don't I'm, I'm sure they might they'll probably become affiliated with FIFA at some point 
and then qualify for the World Cup. But that's fine, but they, they can't this year, and it's really annoying. If they ever actually qualify, like I, <laughs> I will just be very angry with the game. But we're moving on to the Vanuatu game, and I was planning on skipping the video, but we've just gone forward so much. Um, Oops, didn't mean to press press conferences there. So yeah, moving on, we've also got an O League registration, but I think that's always after the game. It, it has it on the same day last year as well. But yeah, we have Vanuatu in the second game of the episode. We'll do a quick pick to see what um, the assistant suggests. Don't really want to play Rituba. Who is? Oh, I really wish they had the positions on that. I would do a custom thing, but I'm, I, to be honest, I can't be asked. <laughs> To be perfect, which is pretty, which is pretty bad, but uh, nah. Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna rest with Seki Dyer, play Apasai Smith there, and then who else we got? We'll play Delay, and yeah, hmm. I'm gonna rest Krishna as well. I'll, I'll probably bring him on at some point, but I'll bring on Bula, Rakesh T. Well, want to play him? Um, I'll play Salkuru a game instead of Hassan, and yeah, I'll do submit that team. And yeah, it's, it's it's I guess a slightly weaker team, but um, I still say we are definitely capable of beating Vanuatu. Um, so yeah, we're, we're cruising this group so far. I shouldn't have said that. We're now going to lose, but yeah, Vanuatu. Um, oh, having an early chance is Rakara into Thomas. Don't foul him. Stand the same. It's so mistake for <laughs> Um, yeah, they're probably going to score here. Rakara, what? We've saved a. This is not Football Manager 15. Have I accidentally put it in the wrong game? People don't miss penalties in Football Manager 15, except in a penalty shot. But yeah, Tora Smith pulling off an unlikely save there on Rokara's penalty. And yeah, it's nil nil. Still, we have definitely got away with one there. As Poisiano for now hits the bar from a free kick. It's probably offside. No, it counts. Larima Bula gives us the lead in Vanuatu, giving a reprieve early on. And Poisiano's for now's free kick hit the bar. Foul down. We had about four players coming up, but Bula fired actually that side of the goal where the keeper was. But yeah, it's still winning. Delay now with a free kick scores directly, and it's two 0 Wow. Um. Wow. Things could have gone very differently if Vanuatu took the lead. But yeah. Jope Delay. Um. Yeah. With a good free kick there, giving us a two 0 lead. And yeah, this is fantastic. Um. Tuvalu looks like they've just gone ahead against Papua New Guinea. New Zealand already into four one lead. Oh, they conceded. Um against Tahiti and yeah, New Caledonia beating Solomon Islands. Looks like New Caledonia are gonna like come back in that group. As Stan Nasima plays that forward from the from the uh, beginning of the second half. Did I make a team talk? <laughs> I think I did. I, I literally don't remember anything I do at half time like team talks. Like I just do it and then like don't think about it. Which is it's sometimes at my downfall because I sometimes like say the wrong thing. But you know, whatever. Um Soroman coming forward. Thomas Gives Vanuatu a goal back, and I guess uh, it's a bit of a wake up call. I don't know whether I switch back to counter. Maybe that would be quite good with our like retain possession kind of thing on. So, yeah, maybe leave it to 60 minutes, see where we're at. And then, yeah, if nothing's happening, we'll switch back to counter. So, yeah, there we go. I'll just do that, and then I'll make a few changes. Joke Delay looks quite um, low on condition. Poisiano for now as well. Uh, with Eki Dyer can come on at DM uh, for a game I think that's the first time I've ever played him there with Bar or Fiji um, but yeah it was, it was good that I trained him there I just realised like all my young players their current ability is really high like five three oh that's Roy Krishna I'm on, I'm on the national team <laughs> um, but yeah like there, there's a lot of young players with great current ability and they're only 20 they're gonna they're gonna get like five stars oh I'm, I'm very excited very excited um yeah, just mention that. Uh, moving on. So yeah, New Zealand have got a fifth. Solomon Lions got on back, but New Caledonia scored a minute later. Still one 0 in that Tuvalu game as we come forward here. Tiwa, Oshin Rituba, Wasia Salkuru, Wasaki Dyer, Rakesh Tiwa, Wasia Sakuru, uh, Wasaki Dyer, Tapasai Smith into Larima Bula turns his man, and it's well saved. Comes to Lawrence Singh now, and it's cleared by Vanuatu. I'm just going to tell the team to concentrate, don't want to concede a late goal. Oh, Sakuru's so uh, free kick is blocked, and um, Vanuatu get it under possession. Oh, don't counter, do not counter on me. As Thomas comes forward, Vanuatu, Sakuru, fantastic defending, and he's put it over the top for Larima Bula. He's through on goal, 
And yeah, that's a poor shot from Bula. Um, no, but the hi highlight's still going. This is quite dangerous. And Nasema wins that. Bula heads it on. Uh, doesn't look like uh, Ratu is going to get that. But Nasara over the top. Bula this time he gets the goal. And yeah, it's obviously it's his second. But yeah, he's, he's missed a few opportunities recently. And we do get the comfort of a 2 0 lead. Stan Nazara. Playing up to what a header, Bula. <laughs> Who would have thought of that? That's so audacious from Larima Bula. But yeah, we get the get the third. Oshin Rituva now. Bula coming forward. Oshin Rituva out to Rakesh Tiwa. Rakesh Tiwa, Saukuru into Waseki Dyer. To Smith, to Tiwa. Tiwa, Smith. Dyer, Bula. Bula turns and fires it in for a hat trick. Larima Bula over the goal scorer, and we take a 4 1 lead here. We are absolutely dominating this group. I am so excited. And uh, yeah, great play from Bula. Just turned his man and then passed it past the keeper. Decent. Three three for him. Uh, have I got one more sub? Um, I'll bring on Krishna. No, why not? Uh, hopefully he can get a round of applause and so can Larima Bula after his hat trick. Uh, Avuk coming forward though for Vanuatu. This looks dangerous. Joe into Avuk. Avuk up to Soroman. Avuk. Avuk with the ball in. Eliki Maharaji gets away. Larima Bula. Lawrence Singh. Oshin Rituva. Rakesh Tiwa. Tiwa with the ball in. Larima Bula. Singh. Oh. So close to a fifth goal. And yeah, that's offside. So yeah, now Krishna's coming on for the last like 40 seconds. Nasema Maharaji, Nasema to Dyer. And there you go. It's full time here at the Corman Stadium. 4-1. Fantastic result. So yeah, two wins out of two for the episode. Four wins out, four wins out of four for the group. And I will join you next time where we'll face Papua New Guinea and Tuvalu in the last two games of the group. Um, yeah, it's looking really promising. Um, hope you guys enjoy this episode. Two wins. Nice to bring you that. If you did, give it a like. Any questions, comment. If you want to see more, subscribe. I've been the FM Gaffer. See you guys next time.